Circumstances overshadowed a Christmas celebration for a San Jose church. St. Paul's United Methodist Church was targeted by an arsonist earlier this year. Devin Feely spoke with the pastor of the church and parishioners. It's a pretty resilient congregation. Pastor Helen Kong says like Mary and Joseph of the Christmas story, her congregation knows what it's like to be a weary traveler, to be displaced from home, and dependent on the kindness of strangers. We don't really know yet what, what our sanctuary, sanctuary is going to look like uh, three years from now. But we anticipate as long as we're gathered in worship, um, church and worship is happening. Looks like a uh, church heavy smoke. We have a working fire coming. This was the scene from June of this year. San Jose police say a homeless man unconnected to the church set fire to the sanctuary. St. Paul's beloved, historic pipe organ, in a cruelly ironic twist, acted like a chimney, spreading the flame skyward to the roof and the heavens above. That was the church I was married in. That was the church both my kids were baptized in. Uh, so a lot of really good memories happened in that place. Tina Paulson has been a parishioner at St. Paul's for almost 20 years. She still attends their weekly worship service at a borrowed chapel at nearby Notre Dame High School. Recognize the fact that we're still here, we're still together, we're still doing good work in the downtown area. The rebuilding process, Pastor Kong says, is likely to take years and is a downtown church as the cornerstone of a community that struggles with homelessness and mental illness. It will be built, she says, on a foundation of faith and forgiveness. Our community members understand the people who are suffering, the people who may lash out for no, through no fault of us. 